welcome to my channel if you are new here hello you are spiritually connected with katiba that's for sure okay look your absence is felt it is there are some people that you had to walk away from there are some people you had to distance yourself from there are some people who you naturally gravitated away from and they feel that it's felt because when you were around your presence was highly felt your presence was very addictive your presence was very um uh, enlightening it was very vibrant now that it's gone it's missed your absence is felt many people didn't value or appreciate i'll say your presence when you were around they didn't appreciate the things that you did for them when they were around they didn't appreciate the times where you were there for them whether that be physically mentally emotionally spiritually financially whatever it was and now that you have pulled back whether you did it consciously or unconsciously you're not to their dispose. You're not, um, they don't have you in the ways in which they once had you. They don't have access to you in the ways in which they once had access to you. And it is highly felt. It is highly felt. Your absence is felt. It is felt, <laughs> it's felt hard. It's felt on a massive level. It is felt because you brought so much positivity to these people, to this person, to the, to the room, like <laughs> to the environment. You had so much to give to the environment naturally. Consciously and unconsciously, you gave. You gave so much value. And now that you aren't there in the ways in which you were once there, it's felt. And it don't feel good. It don't feel good. So people are wondering, where did things go wrong? Where did they lose you? Where did they lose you? They're, they're questioning, they're wondering, they're confused. But where they lost you was when the energy in the room shifted. You decided that you no longer wanted to be a part of the environments where the energy in the room, the, the, the energy in the environment was unstable. You realize that you didn't want any unstableness in your life, that you was headed in a different direction. So you made a conscious decision or unconscious. It may have been by your higher self to step away. To And maybe you didn't even say like, oh, I want to step away. Like you just knew that where you was going, it wasn't there. So you had to go in a different direction no matter who came with you or not. No matter who came with you or not, you had to do that for yourself out of the self-love that you have, out of the love that you have for yourself. You made that decision. And now that you aren't there to people's dispose, I'm trying to, like, what? The, <laughs> I don't know what's up with me and words lately. Like, what's the word? <laughs> what's the word? But look, <laughs> people don't have you like <laughs> how they once had you. It's highly felt. Your absence is highly felt. It's very noticeable. It's very noticeable. Now, things have changed. Now, you have gone in a different direction. And people want you back. They want you back. They're pulling you back. They're pulling you back. But you had to put a stop to it. You had to put a stop to it. Because you're going this way. So what you're doing is 
you like, hey, I need you to come this way with me. And if you can't come this way with me, then I'm sorry, but we don't have much. We don't have much, like, that. it's not much that I can do. People are realizing that it's not much that you can do. Because you had to make a decision. You had to do what was best for you. Nothing personal towards anybody. Nothing personal towards the the people, the places, or the things. You just have learned to love yourself more. You just have learned to value yourself more. Your peace, your happiness, and your joy. And you didn't find peace, happiness, and joy in those certain situations and those certain environments. It wasn't going in the ways in which you desired it to go. And you realized that you had a little bit more control. <laughs> you had a little bit more control over your life, over your happiness. And the ways that things were going, you couldn't keep moving like that. You couldn't keep jigging like that. Like you couldn't keep that cycle up. You decided to break the cycle. Until thing like it's not over. That's the thing. People look at it like it's over. It don't have to be over anyway. It could be over. But the the ways in which things were going, you had to break that cycle. You had to break that cycle in order to create a new cycle. Now, if things go in a different way, if things go more, more smooth or more in the ways in which you are headed, in the ways that make you feel good, in a way that is mutually beneficial to all parties, then you probably will be open to that. But as of now, your absence is felt. It's felt. You kind of hit them with that switch up. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. You kind of hit them with that switch up and it hurt. It, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good that people can't have access to you in the ways in which they once have. It doesn't feel good. For some, they messed up. Okay, they did it to themselves for some. And for others, it was nothing personal. It was just that you were growing in different directions. It was nothing personal. It's just that you didn't feel that it was mutually beneficial. So you wanted to go where you were... Um, you wanted to go where you were... <sighs> not just tolerated. <laughs> you wanted to go where you were not just tolerated. You wanted to go to where you were also celebrated, to where you could also like benefit from it as well because it seems as if it was lopsided. It seems as if it was kind of becoming one-sided. It seems as if the energy was not per se a match. So you had to go where the energy was matched to where the vibrations were um, were vibing on a similar level. And unfortunately, that was that that caused you to remove yourself in a different and, and go in a different direction from certain people, places, and things, and things. So, like I said, it was, it was nothing personal towards them. You just realize who you are. You realize what it is that you want and what it is that you need and what you desire and. That didn't, like, that wasn't in alignment with your peace, your love, and your happiness. That situation didn't cause for that. So now your absence is felt. It is. It is because you brought so much to the table. And you continue to bring stuff to the table. This is why your absence is felt. This is why it's felt. So if this video resonate, if it hit different, let me know how so. If you are new here, I do invite you to hit the subscribe button. If you don't have Chime already, I have $100 waiting for you, okay? Yes, I said it, $100. <laughs> you have to click the link down in my description box to get it, though. Make sure that you use my link so that you can get it. People have already gotten their $100. They have. They probably spent it already, too, but I'm sure that it... Like, like, 
they probably had them a nice meal out to eat or something. Pay the extra bill. So look, click the link down in my description to learn more. That's all I have for this video. Stay spiritually used, stay spiritually in tune, and I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.